and welcome to another daddyjamesfilms.webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your XP or your uh, Vista into uh, a Windows 7 thing. Um, now, a word of warning. Anytime that you put like uh, different themes on your uh, PC, uh, you're going to end up slowing your computer down and stuff. So, if you notice, a lot of times in my tutorials, I have like the regular theme that actually comes with the with the computer, with maybe a different wallpaper. And I don't put anything extra because anytime you put any extra programs on it, it causes your computer to work uh, a little bit more slower. So, if you have a slow computer, it's not a good idea to you know to change your whole theme of your computer and stuff. Uh, but if you have a good uh, good computer. Uh, you know, it runs pretty fast and stuff like that. Uh, it's it won't hurt it too bad putting a different theme on there. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get the uh, Windows 7 theme for XP and Vista, but mostly Vista. I'm gonna go through a little bit more than XP uh, because I'm running a Vista machine right now. Uh, but if you want uh, a, uh, a Windows 7 for XP. You only, the only thing you have to do is type in 7 Remix uh, and you can put XP if you want and um, there's a few places you can download it from uh, whichever site that you trust uh, trust from you can download from them um, DeviantArt Art is a good one and I like DeviantArt because um, they also have reviews on them and of course the other ones have reviews as well but DeviantArt, uh, you know, has more reviews and stuff like that. Uh, but anyhow, if you want uh, the Windows 7 theme for XP, uh, you just go right here, click download, and download it for that. Now for uh, Vista, what you need to do on Vista is go to Google and type in 7 Remix Vista. And from there, you can see a few of them here. But uh, what I like to do is go all the way down to DeviantArt, unless you want it from uh, Softpedia or something like that, and just click on the DeviantArt. And once you're there, um, if you want, you can go down here and read some of the users' comments. Uh, so far, I haven't heard anything bad about it. From there, you want to go ahead and click on Download. Save the file and I'm going to save it to the desktop. As you can see now, it's scanning for viruses. And there you go, it's done. Alright, from here, we're just going to go ahead and click on it. You can either do it from the download box or you can do it from the desktop. Okay, get the install. Click next. Accept. Next. Next. Install. Okay, preparing for installation. If you have a firewall, you might want to uh, have the installer updater. That way it won't bug you as much. And of course, if you have Komodo, it's going to probably bug you a few more times. Right now, it's setting a system restore point. Yours might take a little longer than mine did. Because I paused the video. All right, let's click the finish, and now it says uh, reboot. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this part of the video, and I'll be back right after it reboots. Okay, I'm back from the restart. Uh, now the welcome screen it changed over to uh, uh, Windows 7 Ultimate, and uh, I went ahead and logged in. And here you go. Uh, it looks just like Windows 7. You got the start right here, and you got some of the icons like on videos. You got it to look like uh, Windows 7. Uh, WordPad. It changed a few of the icons to look like Windows 7. Uh, let's see. There you go, like the documents, pictures, videos. So far, I don't seem like it slowed my computer down at all. So, this seems like a pretty good program. Um, let's see. Let's go to YouTube. Yeah. 
the it's still my computer's still running pretty fast, even though it has the Windows 7 theme on it. But sometimes, if you have a real slow computer, um, changing your theme can slow down your computer. So, uh, anyways, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, and have a nice day.